SoCal Christian Medical. That's you. That's us. That's each one of you. You're part of the SoCal Christian Medical. Our mission is Christ, to make Christ and His works known, to build, advance, and encourage Christ's body. And we are independent, multi-denominational, multinational. You can see how many nations there are here. I can count at least maybe uh, 15 nations at least in this room right here. Christian group. We meet twice a year. Somebody said we should meet once a month. Okay, that's planned. But for now, it's twice a year. Our next meeting will be, Lord willing, March 25. Should the Lord tarry in his return, 6 p.m. Mesa Restaurant. Mesa Restaurant, we like you. We're coming back. We want to thank the Lord for each one of you, and especially for our sponsor, ring host, Mobile Man, represented by Mr. Matt Powers right here. Let's give him a right Matt has sponsored this meeting more than once, and thank you very much, Matt. May the Lord bless your company, and He will. He always rewards those who honor Him. <coughs> if you don't have a fellowship once a month, I'd like to invite you to the one that happens in my office, Multinational Fellowship. It happens every first Monday of the month. Next time we'll be meeting will be Monday, November 5. We're going to be listening to the account of Brother Vasile Julia, who just came back from Sudan. Raise your hand, Brother Vasile. Let's give a round of applause. It's been almost a month trip to South Sudan, where he was training people over there in chaplains of the army, and he been there before, so he has a lot to tell us. Please come in if you don't have that fellowship. If you don't have a fellowship you're attending, we'd like to invite you to our church, Grace and Truth Gospel, Gospel Church, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Love to see you. You can always check our website for all these events. And brother. Ed Philoctet, who's on the camera, will tell you that he always makes a good point of putting all these meetings on the website of either graceandgospelchurch.org <coughs> or lebanonprayergroup.org. Brother Ed Philoctet, let's give him a round of applause. He does a tremendous work. And uh, I'd like to invite you also to our yearly International Day of Prayer, a day that is truly changing the not the physical map, but the spiritual map of the Arab world. We pray for the Arab world, we pray for Israel, we pray for the United States, and I want to tell you this, the secret is out, folks. This is no longer a secret. Somebody wrote a book by the name of uh, Tom Doyle, he, his book is called Dreams and Visions. Is Jesus awakening the Muslim world? He said something is happening, very funny. In the last 10 or 20 years, there are more Muslims that came to know Christ than in the entire 14th century since Islam started. We tell Mr. Joel that funny thing is happening as a result of what? Of prayers. Prayers are making the difference. Even missionaries are coming and calling us saying, I used to preach the gospel and nobody will listen. But now they are converts. I was invited to a conference to speak on the weekend and I came across Two people who told their testimonies, two ladies, they're doctors. One is from Saudi Arabia and one is from Yemen. I want to tell you, there were years ago that we would search for an ex-Muslim or someone from a difficult background who came to the Lord. Now they are everywhere as a result of those prayers. So please join us on the next 24th day of prayer for Arab world, the United States. It is making a big difference. Be part of it and take credit for it one day in heaven. There will be rewards for all those who pray for those difficult places of the world. Come and join us. <laughs> Save that date, Saturday, April 27, 2013, 2.30 p.m. Biola University. Should the Lord tarry in his return, hundreds of people congregate. And boy, what an essence. The, our entire meetings are under the umbrella of Lebanon Prayer Group. You'll find us on the website of that, www.lebanonprayergroup.org. Tax exempt 501c3 organization. We give a chance to people. I was asked, does our group make contributions to missionaries, of course, to, to churches, etc. And really our work is as follows. The yearly day of prayer. 
Christian books publishing, distribution, church planting, church assistant evangelism, relief works, and alike. We are involved in all of these, and we praise God for that and for anybody who wants to participate with us. This year, we would like to invite your participation in three relief and assistance projects. First, there are Syrian refugees that are going on on a daily basis and adding up. They are in Jordan, they are in Turkey, and they are in Lebanon. We're going to be participating in the relief work for the Syrian refugees in Jordan and in Lebanon. That's one. Another relief to Lebanese victims of the last events in Lebanon. Friday, there was a big blast in Beirut, Lebanon. A lot of people lost homes, etc. But thank God, it's being captured but still these people need assistance and would like to part, be part of that assistance in the production costs of an entire month of daily programs evangelism programs that are going to be broadcast on a major tv station in the middle east this is going to happen on easter time it happened last year our brother Ayman Kafruni involved in it and the cost we can participate in that so tonight you're invited don't feel obligated but you're invited if you'd like to participate in those things please do it if you feel led by the lord we'd like to invite you to do a tax deductible donation to Lebanon prayer group write your name on the envelope or if you're not ready you can take a blank card fill it out and place in the offering on the first part you can make a commitment to the amount you will donate in your future if you're not ready to donate a prayer and or visitation needs on the back Please write your name, write your address, write your telephone number, write your email. I'd like to give this a chance while I'll be inviting Brother Pastor James Gambrell to come forward here. Let's give him a round of applause. He's going to be sitting during the offer. Brother Anthony will be passing the baskets. Those of you who are feel led to participate, please do so right now. And Brother James Gambrell will lead us in a song. Wait, what are you going to do? This is This is This is Yeah. 